and uh, believe that you know they want their own state and in fact the prime minister of israel is always talking about uh, uh, they want uh, israel as a state for the jewish people and uh, the two states is becoming the only feasible solution on the table now with issues of water distribution, of equal access to economic opportunity. How do you build that Palestinian state? Uh, that's why I don't like the word viable. I would like to say the term sustainable Palestinian state. In other words, it should be a full, fully fledged sovereign state with a contiguous mass without all these settlement blocks, because these settlement blocks are converting the Palestinian state into a Swiss cheese and therefore it cannot be uh, sustainable. Therefore, what we are saying about uh, that we need a Palestinian state on the borders of 1967, fully contiguous, with a possibility to exchange land in certain areas with min very minimal land exchange so that we can link Gaza with the West Bank. If it won't happen, what is the solution that both sides can accept? What is a realistic solution? Well, we have made or already the historic reconciliation by accepting that the Palestinian state will comprise 22% of Mandate Palestine. In other words, we relinquished 78% of Palestine and accepted it to become the, for, for the state of Israel. Now we are being asked to further cut the West Bank. No, it's not. This is the minimal uh, requirement for the Palestinians. If Israel wants to keep any settlement block, they have to give us something in return from the Israeli property, uh, proper per se, so that we can build our state. In other words, we should go for a different kind of partition by which we can have our uh, uh, independent state. But yeah. at the same time, uh, realizing the spatial distribution of the settlements, I think the only solution is for these settlers to uh, leave Palestine. And let me ask you, you're in Bethlehem. What is your daily life like? Uh, you have a big settlement block right next to you. What is it like? Just explain to our international viewers who are not familiar with the West Bank what it's like getting in and out of Bethlehem. What a daily life is like in the West Bank. Uh, I can tell you about Bethlehem. You know, we are surrounded from all directions by settlements. At present, Israel controls 87% of Bethlehem governorate. There is a, a wall and a, a, a wall that is parallel to a wall of settlements that's being uh, built, severing any connections between Bethlehem and Jerusalem. The maximum distance you can drive without hitting a checkpoint or a barrier is about 10 kilometers. So we go in circles if you want to drive for more than 15 minutes without hitting uh, 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 a checkpoint or a settlement or a roadblock or something else. So we are living in what I call the Bethlehem ghetto. All right, Jad uh, Isaac there, the director of the Applied Research Institute in Jerusalem, bringing you both sides of, uh, of, of, of the same story there in the West Bank with regards to whether or not settlement, uh, the settlement freeze should be extended, whether or not settlement should be dismantled, and what an eventual Palestinian state might look like.